one. That was just nice. that was just too easy. That, that was too easy right that's there. That's the that's a game changer on this. Yeah. Show. Oh my goodness, it's working. You know what they say about hindsight. I should have just plugged it in. I mean, I should have plugged it in all along. I knew that, but I forgot. Rock and roll, baby. Right, let's see what we got going on here. What's the knife of the day, Joe? The knife of the day is my uh, Hogue USA. I forgot the actual name of it, but it's a Hogue USA knife. Small business owner, met him in Nashville. Gordon, 495, Harbor Freight. <laughs> <laughs> Prorated 10 year warranty. 100 amp, what's 100? It's about the same the, the other one, the last one, 51 yeah. volt. Yeah, the charger the charger just is a little bit more voltage. This, what's this? 5376 watt hours. hours. Yeah, 5376 watt hours. I mean, that, that, seems, that seems awful high. So that's same. So I mean, it, so it's, would it's, that be a? What would that be the number? That's five the equivalent. Hours? Five. That would be like five point three kW hours. Fifty eight volts. I wonder if they made that to charge faster. Correct. That that should make it charge faster. Okay. Uh, because what'll happen is that the more the more deader. The, the, the more deader that the battery is, uh -huh. the more voltage it's going to suck down okay. trying to charge. It still deals with watts, but the higher voltage will help keep it up. Okay, so there, that looks got. like a communications cable, some more hardware, and then this looks like a little display unit. All right, let me show you the one that we're pulling out of this one. Okay, before we jump into the install real quick, this is a new version of this battery. They got some upgrades. Um, it's now up to 300 amp on the BMS, which honestly, I'm not sure what that means because I'm not an electrician, but here um, they're comparing the specs of this new version. And I don't know what competitor they're comparing it to, but it's a 10 year lifespan versus five for most, you know, 8,000 charges versus 6,000 charges for most. So this is a new version of this and it's actually priced pretty darn reasonably compared to some of the other ones. These are averaging anyone, anywhere from $1,500 to $2,100, $2,200. And as you're gonna see in the end of the video, this thing packs a punch. You see that's the charger. We're gonna replace that. The new one is bigger, so it will charge faster. Battery pack is the same size, so that's good. So all we got to do is swap it out and rerun all the wires and uh, replace uh, the monitor. So I'm going to let this one charge since I left it go dead just for a little bit, and then we're going to swap it out. Let it spin, let it spin, let it spin, let it spin. Grab a handle. go that part's nice we were going to hook that up before we dropped it in but i don't think we have to i think it's easy enough to just reach back there and push it on and snap it in yep. so that's definitely a nice feature 
That is definitely nice. The accessories, them are all good. We replaced them on the last time. These are just going to go to the, um, I think the positive, if I remember right, it was on Correct. this side. They should just go to the positive. So should be a pretty easy swap out. So I'm going to try to drop my end in. All right. Yep. Okay. Set it down. Yep. Okay. Here, let me do it from here. It's mostly gravity at that point. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Mostly gravity. All right. Gravity, just like a rumor. Cheap and effective. You've got to double, make sure that the positive and negative line up with the last one we did. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't that be something if we're backwards? All right, so this is why I take a picture of the battery when we install one like this, because we can't really see down in here. So that way I know the positive and the negative exactly where they're at. No, the plus is still over there. That's good. Yeah, we're in good shape. Okay, so now uh, we got the battery in. It's time to hook up all the wires and the leads. And I'm doing this all by feel <clears throat> again, which is why I took the picture. But I think I could sneak a camera down in there so you could kind of see. But I cannot see what I'm doing at all. This is all by feel, which is another that plug and play like we showed you earlier for the main power, which is basically the battery charger. Yeah, that is super nice to just have a definitive click and it's installed and you don't have to worry about anything else. This is the negative. That's why I take a picture of it when it's out, just to make sure. I can't see anything right here. What are you doing? Pre-drilling the self-tappers, make it easier. Make it easier. Okay, we're in. Okay, so now it's time to plug in the charger to the battery here. And this is really tight. I can't see what I'm doing or nothing, but this is a really cool setup the way they got this. Watch how easy this one's gonna be to plug in. Oh, that was just nice. too, that was just too easy. That that is that was too easy right that's there. That's the that's a game changer on the Yeah, itself. right there. Right there. That, if anything, if I mean, there's a lot of things that tip the scale with this unit. Oh, wow, that was nice. There's a lot of things that tip the scale with this unit, but that that is really one of them, that that yeah. thing just plugs in, done, let one less wire to, not, it's it's not even so much that it's one less wire that you have to put on each terminal. Wow. It's the fact that it just snaps in like oh, that. Yeah. And you yeah. can do it blindly. You don't have to yeah. see it. Yeah, that is nice. That, that, was, that was nice. All right, we're going to keep rolling. So we got the... Charger mounted. Do you think we need to add a third screw with the size of that, Phil? No, or? no I think yeah. the weight, because the weight is straight down. Okay. I don't think it's really any heavier. It's just more aluminum. Okay, so we keep things real here. Our initial thought was to mount it this way, um, but then I reached on the bottom and I thought, well, it could be, it could vibrate too much. So this thing has multiple mounting opportunities. You could see the holes in it. So we're going to flip this around um, parallel and then I feel that it ended up being better mounted the way you see it right here 
for vibration and so forth moving forward. All right, we're gonna plug in the meter first before we install it and then power up the battery, see what it does. Okay, you have that? All right, you gonna do it? Well, should be on. Oh my goodness, it's working. Oh, wait. Did you just unhook yeah, it? Yeah, I think I, I think I turned it off on accident. Right, we got juice. The juice is loose. All right. There we go. 79%. 53.2 volts. I like it. It's not as technical as the other one. Go around to the front and pull the cable. Yeah, okay. So uh, we're going to we're going to do it the easy way, right? Yep, we're going to just use that as our pull pull cable. All right. Pull, pull out the old one, pull in the new one. Oh, take some more. Take some more. I know, but I want you to take that as much of that slack out. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we pulled the cable through for the uh, dashboard monitor, and it's just plug and play. The only thing you have to do is put two screws in on your monitor. So here's the plug, really easy. Just put two self-tapping screws on your plastic dashboard or wherever you want to mount it and plug it in the battery and the monitor's good to go. All right, I'll probably voice over this. But... Um, so we're splicing the wires with the original factory plug that I just showed you there. We're gonna clean this up, get all these cables tucked in and installed, and I'm gonna show you the front under the hood real quick of plugging in that meter on the dashboard, but it's basically three cables. Um, you match them up to the um, charger there you don't have to be an electrician to do this now it came with one I came with a you know regular 110 plug but I wanted to fill the slice this for me because it just makes it easier for charging you don't have to do it this way you can use the one that comes with it and you won't have to do any splicing at all just put the battery in plug them in and then you would be done but this just is a little more convenient and that's the way I wanted it Okay, we're almost ready to test this system out. We're almost ready to go live. I mean, we're still showing good in the meter. Now, does that go off when the button goes, when you turn the button off? Does, does that kill the... Well, let's find out. That scenario? Let's find out here. Yep. Okay. It does, so turn that back That's on. how you know that. So I wonder if it's going to time out, though, because... Normally, you leave, you leave this turned on all the time. So as far as this monitor goes, there is an on-off button on the side. It does not turn off on its own. I tested it overnight, but you just click the on-off button on the side, and we're going to finish the discussion right now about why you got to leave these plugged in. Well, we do, we do know now, after mine, that if you, that's why they want you to keep it plugged right. in, because it's like having... Yeah. a radio on all the time because it is a radio and it will drain the battery yeah, with the blue if you tube, do not turn yeah. the if you do not turn the power switch off it will drain the battery i learned the hard way all right the moment of truth five four three two draw the queen Oh, there we go. I hear something. Fan kicked on. There, now it's showing charging. It's showing that it's charging. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very nice. Success. We're going to take this for a ride. It's muddy out, but we got to test it out. All right. 84%. That's good enough. Well, we did check all the lights and everything. It's all good to go. Beautiful. Fasten safety belts. Think I can do a burnout? Let's find out. Okay, that was not fast forward. That was real time. Okay. 
the Hewitt four wheel? No, it is. Okay. Get right in the center of that and then just light them up. You roll them. You see the counter going? Yeah, counter's going. Good enough. <laughs> 